all you need to know about peanut allergies. We know that everyone has food that they don't eat because they don't like, maybe broccoli or carrots. But did you know that there are some foods that kids don't eat because they actually can't? Have you ever wondered why some of your classmates aren't allowed to eat some of your favorite foods? If a certain food makes you sick every time you eat it, it means you have an allergy. Maybe you have a friend or a classmate who is allergic to peanuts. Your teacher probably told you that you can't bring a peanut butter sandwich for lunch because this classmate can't be around peanut butter. But why? Why can't you have peanuts in the same room as a person who's allergic to peanuts? Let's look at what happens when someone who is not allergic eats a handful of peanuts. This is your body's normal response to food. Food is a very good thing. It gives us energy to run, play, and think. Normally, a person's gut or intestine will break down foods like peanuts into a size tiny enough to be absorbed and later converted into energy for your body. When a person's intestine can digest peanuts normally, they are said to be tolerant of peanuts. But those who are allergic to peanuts are intolerant. Their bodies don't think that peanuts are normal and don't think that they can be a helpful form of energy for the body. Their intestine cannot break down peanuts into small enough pieces, so some peanut proteins make their way through the barrier of the gut and enter the person's blood. Your body is made up of millions of tiny units called cells. When your body detects these peanut proteins outside of the intestine, it triggers your immune cells to respond. Your immune system is basically your emergency response. When your body senses that something is wrong inside, it will call on your immune system to get rid of the problem. It is important to realize that just how people look different, all people have different immune systems, meaning that people's cells can react differently to foods. In this case, the immune system sees the peanut proteins as bad invaders who are not in their proper place. These invading peanut proteins are called antigens. Cells called B cells produce proteins called antibodies that are made to target a specific invader. Antibodies are shaped like a capital letter Y. The antibodies that are produced as a response to peanuts are called IgE. IgE antibodies are docked on the surface of cells called mast cells. When IgE runs into an invading peanut antigen protein, the ends of it attach, or bind, to specific sites on the peanut antigen. Once the IgEs are attached to the peanut antigen, the mast cell becomes activated. The mast cells contain hundreds of little signals called histamine, but the mast cells keep the histamine trapped inside until it meets an antigen. Then the mast cell releases its histamine signals. Think of histamine as the 911 call to the rest of the body. It tells your body that it has been invaded by something that shouldn't be inside it. These histamine signals scatter through the rest of the body and cause it to react in lots of different ways. First, the lungs will constrict, meaning they get smaller. The person's throat also tightens, so they will have a hard time breathing. The histamine also makes your blood vessels get wider, making your blood pressure go down. This makes your heart work harder to pump more blood. These effects are called an allergic reaction and are extremely dangerous for anyone with a peanut allergy. In the most serious case, the person can go into shock. This is why you can't bring a peanut butter sandwich to school, because the peanuts will cause anyone who is allergic to have an allergic reaction. The person with an allergy doesn't even have to eat peanuts. For some people, they will get an allergic reaction from being in the same room as peanuts. So you have to be extra careful, especially at school. But you can never be too careful. Anyone who is allergic to peanuts carries a device called an EpiPen for emergencies. The EpiPen comes to the rescue whenever someone has an allergic reaction. An EpiPen contains a drug called epinephrine. This drug is injected into the person's leg so it can get into the blood. Epinephrine basically reverses what happens during an allergic reaction. It causes the muscles in your lungs and throat to relax, and it makes your blood vessels squeeze back to their normal size. I bet you never noticed that anyone carried an EpiPen, right? So how else can you tell if one of your friends is allergic to peanuts? Some kids wear a bracelet to show that they have an allergy. But most of the time, there is no way to tell if someone has an allergy. That's why it's super important to be careful of what kind of food you bring into the classroom or cafeteria. And remember, it's not just peanuts that kids can be allergic to. A person can be allergic to all kinds of foods, or even things that aren't food. As you can see, there are lots of things that someone could be allergic to, and you would not even know it until they started having a reaction. Humans all have the same organs on the inside, but the cells that make up people's organs don't always act the same in everyone. Some people's cells decide that certain foods are bad, and they attack these foods when the person eats them. According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, an estimated 6% of children under the age of 18 have a food allergy. We humans have a lot in common, but we can't all eat the same common foods. Here are some peanut safety tips that you should keep in mind at school. Number one, it is important to check the ingredients of the foods you bring to school in case they contain a hidden nut ingredient. Number two, don't share your food with classmates, especially if they have a food allergy. Number three, make sure to wash your hands after eating anything with nuts. We can all do our part to make sure that everyone in our class stays healthy.